Have you ever discovered a new anime that you were all excited to watch because it sounded really good, but then it ended up being one of the worst anime you have ever watched? Well, I certainly have. Or have you ever looked at a trailer for a show and thought to yourself, this looks like shit, but I'm definitely watching that? These things I'm sure have happened to everyone at some point, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the worst anime I have ever watched. Now, I'm not picking things based off of a technical standpoint, although some shows that are listed here are pretty bad at that too. But I don't want my list to consist of anime like X-Arm or Mars of Destruction that everybody already knows is bad. My list is more personal and follows more so my disappointment with shows that I thought I would like, or shows that I thought would be better but were just some of the worst anime I have ever watched. And before starting, I just want to say for everyone who might complain that I have finished most of the series on this list. There is only one of these anime that I couldn't sit through, so I have seen the end and can fairly judge most of these anime on this list. Well anyway, let's jump into it with the first anime on this list. Requiem of the Rose King was an anime that I was pretty excited for as I heard great things about the manga. I still have actually, but the anime was really bad. It is the only anime on this list that I have never finished and that is because it was so boring that I just couldn't handle it anymore and stopped. Like, in the 9 episodes I somehow managed to watch, it felt like nothing significant happened. There was some plot moving forward, but I just found myself not caring about the series at all. The character writing is a large part of that, I think. The characters were all lame. I didn't care about a single one of them. Their development felt forced and there were way too many generic characters that had no real personality of their own. And there was the yaoi moments in this series. Now, I'm not one to care about that sort of thing as long as the series is good, but in this series it just felt wrong for some reason and I still don't know why. The animation was also below average at best and had nothing to make it stand out on its own. The themes in the series were things that have been covered by a bunch of other series before, but way better. I know the series is based off real history just with its own fictional spin on it, but somehow they ruined that as well. This series just ended up being a massive disappointment for me and is one of the series that I would never revisit. So, I have uploaded a few videos being an advocate for both Slice of Life anime and Yuri anime in the past. So you would think, looking at this anime, that it would be right up my alley. But Sakura Trick is one of the worst anime I have ever watched. I remember my experience watching this anime. It was around 10pm when I started looking for an anime to watch because it was the weekend and I was planning on staying up a little bit later than normal. And I found this anime. I looked at the cute art style and read the synopsis and was like, sure, this sounds decent. But then I watched the first episode and I knew what this anime was going to be. But because of my nature and who I am, I kept watching. I gave it 3 episodes, as you do, and it never got better. But I'm also stubborn so I didn't drop it because despite how bad it was, it wasn't boring, which is my only criteria for dropping shows. After I finished watching it, I questioned why I watched the whole thing. And to this day, I don't know the answer to that. Because despite the cute art style, this anime is anything but cute. It is very lewd and etchy, and it is also kind of creepy. Thankfully, at the time, I was also a minor, so I won't end up on a kind of list or anything, but it was that kind of level of weird. I hated all of the characters. Not of one of them had any redeeming qualities to them that made the series worth watching. The romance was, well, yeah. Let's just go with that. The series was also just not good from a slice of life perspective. Like, it wasn't boring, but it wasn't entertaining in any way either. Which is my biggest gripe with the series. Despite everything, I hate this anime because it left me feeling tricked. I got bamboozled by the cute art style and that pisses me off so I hate this anime a lot. Alright, you may not have heard of this anime and if you have, I'm sorry. But it's called Conception and yes, it's as bad as it sounds. This anime has one of the dumbest concepts I have seen for an anime ever and it's not helped by the fact that it has terrible writing, bad characters, and bad animation. Like, the characters for instance are all bland and uninteresting, they never develop into anything either, they just all stay the same and it makes the anime really hard to sit through. The main MC is insufferable as well, which doesn't help that he never develops. The series also throws its hand in the ring with some action and let me just say, it's bad. Like, just why? It feels almost forced and doesn't really have any stakes to make it interesting. The animation is also really bad, like I've seen worse as we're about to see later on in this video, but it's just uninteresting, there's nothing that's special about its animation at all. This is one of those anime that tried to mix too many concepts into one thing and none of them worked out well and it just made the whole anime feel like a jumbled mess which in turn made it bad. Alright, next one up is another anime that I would honestly be impressed if most of you have even heard of, and it's a series called Ghibli. I went into this series completely blind when episode 1 dropped. I read the synopsis and it had a really interesting concept, especially for when it came out in 2020. So I gave it a watch, and to say it was rough around the edges is a massive understatement. 
I actually did originally drop this series, but I eventually came back to it after someone I know said it was good. I should have never listened to them, because my god, it only gets worse the more you watch it. The story makes no sense and jumps from plot point to plot point, sometimes skipping a lot of important details, which just makes it really hard to follow. The animation, well, as I'm sure you've been seeing throughout this section of the video, is bad. Like, really bad. Like, insanely bad, to the point that I don't dare call it animation. The monsters. Like, what the fuck? Why does it look like that? They did a good job at making the monsters weird and unnerving, but probably not in the way they intended for it. The characters are by far the worst part of this series as well. All of the characters, with the exception of one, who I actually kind of like, are bland, and none of them really develop. There is slight development for the main three, but only slightly. For the most part, they all stay the same throughout the series. There is also this forced romance between the two main characters that is just weird and doesn't really work for me. And lastly, there was also this plot twist that wasn't really a plot twist because you could tell exactly who it was going to be by the end of the series, so it didn't really end up being all that impactful. But overall, I will say, do not check out this anime. You are missing out on absolutely nothing from not watching this anime, so I will save you a few hours of your life right here. Alright, now I want to talk about the biggest piece of fucking shit I have ever seen. This anime is truly miserable, and I hated every goddamn second of it. Excuse me, I lost control of myself for a second. Pet. This is an anime that you have probably not ever heard of before, and you're lucky. This anime had such a cool concept. It is a psychological thriller about people with special abilities that enter people's minds and manipulate them. Now, that concept sounds awesome, and I thought it was going to be going into it as well. But I watched the first episode and thought it was alright. Then the second, and it got worse. And the third, and it got worse again. It just never hooked me in. It was a boring mess of an anime that really pissed me off because I wanted it to be good so bad, but it just wasn't. The animation was pretty below average. There was never anything that stood out to me from this anime in terms of animation. I will give them props on visuals though, as the sequences where they are diving into the minds of people do look really nice, but that's about it. The OP is a banger, but that's to be expected for TK who made Unravel. But for a series that is supposed to have a heavy focus on the minds of characters and how they interact with each other and all that jazz, there is not a single character in this entire anime that I like. Which is impressive, as I even like a character from fucking Jiviate of all anime. But all of the characters were either really boring or really annoying with no in-between. On the development side of things, I will give them that, there was some development in there. Not all of the characters went in a good direction, but there was some development. This is an anime that I wanted to drop so bad, but I also wanted it to be good so bad, so I never did, and I regret not dropping it. To me, there's just absolutely nothing redeeming about this piece of shit anime, and I do not recommend anybody suffer through what I had to suffer through. Well, that was my list of my least favorite anime. Tell me your thoughts on it. Do you agree or disagree? And let me know of your least favorite anime as well. I would love to know. Anyway, I hope you have a good day, and I hope to see you next week. Goodbye.